agree that before Jesus Christ, none of the prophets, and majority of the prophets came before Jesus Christ, none of them worshipped a triune God. Do you agree with that statement? They worshipped the God that had been revealed to them. And who is, only who is God, what? And God the Father had been revealed Good. to them. Good. Okay. Now, now, Jesus himself, when he was asked, how shall we pray? Yes. He repeated the Lord's Prayer, which is our Father in heaven, not our Father, Son, and Holy Spirit in heaven. Do you agree? So even Jesus Christ and all the prophets, they all advocated the worship of the Father only. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay, where did no, Jesus no, no. say to worship anyone other okay, than so the Okay, so in the book of Acts, you okay. see the event of Pentecost. Yeah? Was Jesus there? Jesus had just ascended to heaven and the Holy Spirit, and he sent the Holy Spirit, the advocate. Okay, so our Lord Jesus Christ revealed the Holy Spirit. He, Our Lord Jesus Christ ascended into heaven and he said, you will not be alone. I will send my advocate who will go before you, the Holy Ghost. And he sent the Holy Ghost after he ascended into heaven. But the Holy Ghost was already there during the baptism. The Holy, uh, the, at the event of Pentecost. So no, no, I'm asking, look, Jesus said, until I go away, he will not come. But the Holy Ghost was already there during the baptism. Well, are you implying then that Jesus Christ was lying? No, I'm saying the Bible writers are lying. You say, you say, so the ones who wrote the Bible are lying because it, it, there's a clear contradiction in the Gospel of John, John 14 and John 16. In both it says, un, Jesus clearly says, until I go, the paraclete, he will not come. Yes, when I go, then he will lead you into all truth. Yeah. Let's assume, for the sake of argument, that paraclete is the Holy Spirit. What is a new thing that he, he proclaimed to you, which Jesus did not already teach you? At, at the baptism of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit descended on him like a dove, on him, right? The Holy Spirit descended on him yeah. like a dove. It was there, right? Right, at the baptism. It at, existed. On him. It, it of matter. course it existed. It, it existed, that's what we're saying. Of course it existed, yeah, it's, yeah. it's always existed, right? The Holy Ghost has always existed. Yeah. He descended on our Lord at his baptism in the form of a dove. At Pentecost, he descended on the church. Okay, so the Holy Spirit was... When you say church, you mean the people? Yes, of course. It was Our Lady, Blessed Virgin Mary, and well... I'll give you another example. Did the Holy... Address my example. Yeah, yeah, I'm addressing address that. Address my example. No, no, the triune I'm, I'm addressing... No, no, you jumped. God. You jumped the gun. Triune. Okay, if, if you're interested in the word triune... I'm not using the term. I'm talking about the concept. Okay, well, the concept is there. If you're not interested in the... So before we go to the concept... concept right? It's very clear. The, the Father's revealed in Genesis. The Son is revealed in the incarnation. The Holy Ghost is revealed in Pentecost. This is all inside the Bible. And how do you make them one? If you let me finish. This is all inside the Bible, right? So if you're disagreeing that the concept of the Holy Trinity is outside the Bible, you're incorrect. And if you can't accept that, then you can't see the logic. Shall I tell you why you're incorrect? Shall I tell you why? Oh, do you agree with what I've just said? I'm telling you why you're incorrect. How can I agree? If I agreed, I wouldn't say you're incorrect. Because you just said the concept of the Holy Trinity. Yeah, the concept is not there. I'll tell you why. Let me have a word in between. I'll tell you why. Trinity doesn't just mean three persons or three beings or three entities. Trinity means the three are one being God. This is the leap of faith which you made. Just because you said the three different entities or the three different persons are mentioned throughout time in different eras, then you automatically said that these three are one. That is a leap of faith which you actually established, which Jesus did not say, which none of the prophets said, which the church did in the fourth century. That is the reason I'm saying that what you're saying is a leap of faith, not from evidence. When I, when I see the Bible in which Jesus himself states that the only true God is the Father, then regardless of what the Pope says, regardless of what the church fathers say, Jesus' testimony stands over all of that. Do you agree? We're not claiming though that there's more than one God. We're claiming that there's no, no, I'm not saying more than one God. I'm saying to identify as the only true God, one person, not three persons. Jesus says in John 17, 3, yes, do, are you aware of the passage? Okay, he says this is eternal life, that they may know you, the Father, the only true God, and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. So Jesus identifies the Father as the only true God and himself as the Christ. Now you cannot say that the Pope rejects Jesus' testimony or the Protestant or any church fathers reject Jesus' testimony. That would be against Jesus, against everything you uphold as holy. Ooh.